Do you think that's what it is, Jules? Confidence and identity lacking at Manchester United? Yes, I think there are a lot of other things that are lacking right now. I thought the start, they started well and maybe it was, it was a good first 10, 15 minutes and then after the goal they said, OK, let, let's build on this and kick on and, and go for it. And yet, I thought Villa were the better side for the rest of the game. It was far too easy for them to, 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 to pass the ball through the United midfield or what was kind of left of it, despite the, the good game that Fred and McTominay had. It's just not... I just, I'm just not sure that what Rangnick is trying to do, whatever that is, like Stevie said, is, is, is understood by the players. That's the only thing. He tweaked a little bit his formation tonight. Uh, but again, structurally, I'm, I'm not sure we saw any sort of improvement compared to before. Again, it was too easy for Villa to put four or five passes right in the centre as well to that United team. They created far too many chances for a home game for a team like United. Uh, yeah, we're just taking a look at some of the odds for the top four. Maybe we could get Don to break it down in terms of percentages. <laughs> uh, the general consensus here, though, from you no, guys, <laughs> <laughs> it has been that United will make the top four because they have better players than the other contenders to the top four. Is that still something that you'd believe in, Shaka? Uh, in, in, in most circumstances, I would say yes. The, the team with, with the better players makes makes you top 10 or make, makes you top four in, in, in this circumstance excuse me but here's here's the thing especially when you when you consider Arsenal and Spurs and the form that they're in and certainly the buy-in that those teams have with their managers Arteta and Antonio Conte who's, who's somehow transformed Spurs from what we saw in the early season to a team that is looking intent on finishing top four right now I don't think there's that much in terms of squads in terms of their capability names on Manchester United's team sheets uh, are far better but in terms of, of their quality what you're seeing on the pitch from both Arsenal and, and Spurs is is better than, than Manchester United's and they and their managers are, are doing a better job than Ranić is with with Manchester United right now so all that being said that the names on, on Manchester United's team sheets stand for absolutely nothing in terms of this top four finish I see them finishing behind both Spurs and Arsenal. OK, would you agree with that, Stevie? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think we had something similar to this conversation about four weeks ago, and I was definitely one of those that said, you know, they've got too many good players not to win games. And that's why I thought they, they certainly would be the favourite to get that fourth spot. But looking at it now, what, four weeks later... Uh, what's happened to Ronaldo, what's happened to Fernandez, Rashford, Greenwood? Um, you like, you know, I, I mean, the last, the last two or three games, we're looking at relying on McTominay to not only dominate, but to score goals. You, you, you can't get in the top four if that's, if that's the player that you have to rely on. So, yeah, I, I, I absolutely agree with, with Shaka. I'm not a huge fan of either Arsenal or Tottenham, by the way, don't get me wrong. But they actually seem to play as a unit and they actually look as though they've got an idea of what they're trying to do. Listen, they don't always do it, but at least they have some sort of structure. Manchester United right now, I can't see any structure whatsoever. And, and if they are to win games, it will be from one of the star players pulling something from, from a hat. But as I said, right now, even they don't look as though they're capable right now. Don, uh, Manchester United going to be beaten to a top four finish by one of the North London clubs? I think they are, and I would put Arsenal favourites. Uh, I'm still not convinced, even though Tottenham have got an elite manager in Antonio Conte, I'm still not convinced if Tottenham can go the distance. Son, I believe, is out for another month. Window's still open. We don't know what's happening with Harry Kane. Um, but you take those two out of the team. They're a very average side. You know, they've got good workhorses in mid midfield, like Oliver Skip and like Hoybier. He's got them a little bit more defensively organised, but I'm not sold on Emerson Royale at right, right wing back or Ben Davis. Regulon's their best left-sided player. So more work on the trainer ground for Antonio Conte to convince me they can get top four. So as it stands, I think Arsenal and West Ham are the two favourites. But if we fast forward five days to the weekend, it's a North London derby, isn't it? So whoever wins that one could be favourites at the weekend to try and get top four.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on U2. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.